A.K. Cooper Elliot lives in Yorkshire with her husband, mother, and dog. Retiring early from a high-flying executive role gave her the freedom to create her stories. She enjoyed writing romance and thriller novels at the comfort of her home office. Her favorite time is when a dog finds a comfy place under the decks, particularly on her feet. It is quite suiting, especially in winter. And on today's episode of Auto Interview, it's my utmost pleasure and joy to have on the show today, AK. How are you doing, AK? I'm fine, thank you. I'm, I'm really well this morning, yeah. It's so amazing to have you on the show today. I'm excited as well. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. So AK, could you tell us about your book? A, it is me again, it is Lily Everly. The Lily Everly yeah. series book. How does this book come about? What inspired you to write the book? And again, how did it come about the title? Hey, right. Well, this is about what we're speaking about, mm. um, which is just being released. And basically, wow. there's two stories. Um, one is Lily and the Auntie Directory. Um, the uh, church is being renovated in the village. And basically the neighbours around the church complaining about strange noises coming from the graveyard at night. So Lily and Terence go to investigate. And yes, there is spooky shadows and weird noises, but it, there is a big twist in the story. And then the second story is uh, Lily and the Featherbark Lane mystery. And basically the village is frightened because there's a phenomenon on the lane, a ghostly figure walking up and down. And again, Lily and uh, Terence go to investigate. And both stories are absolutely gripping. And wow. they have got a major twist in them. And wow. the reason I got Lily Everly's name is because one day I just thought of Lily and I something, um, you know, um, came to me with the name Everly. Um, and then I just thought, hey, it's me. It's Lily Everly. And it rhymes. And it's oh. it all fits in. Yeah, yeah, I did it. So it rhymes, yeah. That's quite amazing to know. And I love the description of that, particularly again to know that there's a sound coming from the grave and they are going there to investigate it. Got me curious to ask what genre of literature is the book? Right, it is children's, but it's people think, oh, it's for like babies, you know, three oh. year olds. It, it's not. It's from six plus. A good reader, you know, at that category of six years old could read this. Um, mm. but it's even adults can read it. It's it's such a good story. So I always say to my publisher, it's from six plus. Let's go seven years and upwards. Oh, that's quite lovely to know. And I also love to ask you, AK, for readers who haven't read the book yet, and of course, without giving much information away, could we have a sneak of what we'd expect picking up the book? You you can, yes. Yes, basically, um, Lily Everly, I'll do the on to directory. Um, Lily Everly um, is always... He is, is listening in and to conversations because her father, Professor Everly, helps Sergeant Smithy, um, mm. you know, to close his cases, you know, when there's problems in the village with, you know, theft or disappearances. And Professor Everly gets involved and helps his friend, uh, Sergeant Smithy. Well, Lily is always... It, what we call earwigging, listening at the door. And she goes to Terence, who has a, a laboratory under his greenhouse, and they are, they both go out and investigate the case. They actually solve the case, and but what she does is she passes a note to her father, or Sergeant oh. Smithy, and they catch the criminals. And that and that's what it's all about. Um, well, but the but this creepy stories is about Reverend Denton, who actually goes away from the church to another church in another village, 
um, Lily actually becomes uh, involved in this case because Sergeant Smithy is having complaints from the villagers about weird noises mm. coming from the graveyard and rectory. So Lily and Terence actually go into the rectory and they find something which doesn't add up, basically. I can't reveal all because it will give the story away. Mm. So Lily eventually climbs into the cellar and she actually climbs into a, a cold chute and she listens to what's happening in that rectory. And and that that's where the story, you know, I can go up to because otherwise I'll reveal a lot of things in the book. Wow. That's quite actually very nice. And I love the sound of it. It sounds very intriguing to me. I love it so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Yes. yes. Now, I'd also love to ask you, AK, you know, as authors, we all have different ways of reacting to feedbacks and criticism of our works. I'm curious to know your opinion about criticism. How do you react to negative reviews of your books if you've ever had one in time past? Well, um, first of all, everybody's free for, you know, to their own opinion. Yeah. So they're entitled to their own opinion. Uh, but sometimes um, I think some readers uh, read the wrong book for what they like. Um, for instance, if you're a romantic reader in fiction, then you're reading a war book. It doesn't mix, and your conflict of opinion would, mm. you know, show in your review, basically. Um, and sometimes if I have had negative reviews, which is very rare, but I do get the odd one, um, I think, is this book for you? Are you are you reading the right category? Um, you know. And that's where I think the reviews go wrong because mm. people say, I'm a reviewer, but they may prefer romance books or they may prefer, you know, uh, science fiction books. True. They read the wrong category of book, then it can reflect on the review. And that's how I look at it. Mm. Well, I love your take on this, actually. And it really mm -hmm. do make for an interesting discussion. Now, there's this mm -hmm. question, AK, that I love asking authors that come on my show. Yeah. You know, I've always been fascinated about how authors, especially novelists, craft long sentences and bring words together in a way that it eventually makes a great novel. This always leaves me thinking about how exactly got the, they got their ideas and inspiration. Now, I also love to ask you, as far as writing is concerned, how do you get your inspiration and ideas for your book? Well, um, from from being a small child, I've always read, um, oh. and I still read now. And um, also, with my life experience, oh. um, I've come across different characters, different situations, and I kind of put them into a blender and blend mm. it all together and I'll get my stories from from what I've seen, from oh. what I've heard, from what I watch. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the sound of that. You know, it, mm. it really made for an interesting discussion. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. Now, as far as your book is concerned, I'm curious to know if you experienced any challenges in the process of writing the book. If there is any, could you share with us what challenge it is? And how you ultimately overcame it? Yes, well, I suffer with multiple sclerosis. And um, I, like speaking to you now, um, I have on occasions in this uh, podcast with you, a, a stumbled up on words and thinking. Um, that's the problem I have. I, I mm. have problems with my fingers. Um I cannot bend them properly. Um, I struggle thinking sometimes. I get fatigued. Um, I can write backwards. Everything's yeah. mirrored. <laughs> My yeah. thinking's mirrored. Um, uh, but what I do is I come away from my books 
and I rest till I get better and then I get back on it again. It's like charging a battery. Oh. And and yes, and they're the challenges I have. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now, I'd also love to ask you, AK, apart from A, it is me again, it is Lily Everly, do you have any other works you've altered or maybe currently working on? Right. Um, well, I, hopefully, touch wood, um, I have a Lily Christmas book being released next month, hopefully. Um, so that, again, it's the same principle. You've got um, things happening with twists. It's a detective story again. There's three stories in uh, the Lily Christmas book. Um, also, um, next year, I'm releasing another adult book called Victorian from the Templeton Miller series. Uh, the first Templeton Miller book I wrote was The Turner, which is this book here. Mm. I'll just get it. Wow. Oh, yeah, I've uh, seen that cover somewhere. Yeah. On Instagram. Okay. So they're my adult books, and uh, the Victorium has been released hopefully next year, uh, which would be the, uh, let me think, uh, fifth Templeton Miller book. And wow. the Lily book, the Lily Christmas book, is. Um, let me just think, would be the third Lily book in the series. Oh, wow. That's great. And that's quite very voluminous. That's a lot of work. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. For years, I've written um, stories. And basically, they've been in notebooks. And I just pulled the notes out shuffle them all together and then give mm. them obviously to my editor um oh. where i've got years and years of work yeah that's great to know actually mm. amazing that's a lot of work now ak could you tell us what publishing is like for a published author like yourself are there any challenges you've encountered ever since it got published yeah there is um since getting published the challenges i have is the marketing side um I get inundated with lots and lots of emails, um, people who want to market the books and that. Well, I'm under um, a publisher um, and obviously I am, especially on my social media, I do actually put the books on myself. Mm. Um, but I just, I think the downside to this is being inundated with lots and lots of people who want to market your book. A lot of feedback, which I tend to get from other authors, is that they don't see any results. And mm. I think that's the downside to it, yes. Absolutely. Mm. Wow. That's actually, that's, that's something really to consider. I love the fact that you mentioned it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite... You see, you put all your hard work into, do, you know, writing your book. Mm. The, and once it's done and you've got everything sorted, edited, and yeah. it comes out in one piece, it, it, it looks fantastic. The hard part then is the marketing. Absolutely. And Yeah, absolutely. And I hate that bit. I, I just, it, it takes me, sometimes it takes me away from my books and oh, wow. I'd rather, I just rather like, oh, you know, just go away. <laughs> Marketing go away. I'm not yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now I'd also love to ask you, AK, is there anything that you would love to share with the viewers about your books that we did not mention in this interview and you'd love the viewers to know? The, the Temple to Miller uh, dynasty books for instance my uh, adult books um all run in order and um i know that i have got one or two people well more than one or two people who's ready for my next book to come out next year um mm. but i'm eventually with the templeton miller uh, series is going to be uh going on to another character um 
leaving that series behind, um, I think there's another two books in the Templeton Miller series. Mm. Um, and then I'm going on to um, another category of books, a series of books, uh, adult detective books. Um, so I'm coming away from the romantic thriller side into more detective you know, crime. I'm going into that side. So I'd like to share that with your audience. Um, the uh, Lily Everly is going to continue with another couple of books after the Christmas book. Yeah. And then we're going into the Lily Everly college years. And that yeah. would focus more on 11-year-old uh, plus, um, oh. that category. Yeah. That's really interesting to know. I love the sound of it. Mm. Yeah. It's 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 all mapped out. That's one thing I do. I map out um, oh. because some days, well, quite a few days, I'm not very well at all to you know um, think of things like this. And also as well, I've got all my notes. I've got you know written down. I've got years worth of stories and that. So oh. I'm I'm a you know it's all planned. I never ever stop thinking about books and my writing I'm always you know 24 7 thinking about what's the next step um so I do that because one day I won't be able to do this at all and mm. this is this is this is exactly what why I'm doing it now um because obviously I finished my career I'm now getting my stories out and then I would like to one day sit back and just see them all on the bookshelves. Oh, wow. You know? mm. Yeah, that's quite lovely to know. I love the scent of that. Now, I'd love to ask you, where can readers get a copy of your book in case we have some interested viewers who are watching this interview and they would love to get a copy of your books? And what platform are they available on for Porsches? Um, You can get them from Amazon. Um, also, uh, Kobo. Um, mm. All the leading bookstores in the world, including Waterstones, um, both all my adult books and my children books are worldwide. That's great. But, but, but I'm, yeah, but Amazon seems to be the big marketplace at the minute. Yeah. Mm. And please, for the last time, could you please show them again to the camera, just I so can. the viewers can see. I can. Um, yes. There you yeah. Go. There's. Hey, it's me again. It's Lily Everly that we talked about. And can you show the other ones too to the camera? I can, yes. Yes, right. I'll get you my other little book. There you go. Yeah, beautiful. What a beautiful cover it is. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, obviously, do you want to see the adult book? Yeah, then? absolutely. Okay. What's it? So I love I love its volume. It's quite voluminous. Yeah. I love it. I love big books. Yeah, they they are really <laughs> good. They are, and then we follow with it. Yeah. That's the next one. Oh, that's about wow. yes, Stella oh, Nebula. God. Stella Nebula is about the legacy of Alison Templeton Miller, which is the daughter wow. of Helena. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's about a life going into a showbiz world where it's very dark, it's a thriller, it's it's a romance as well, but it's mm. very dark. Um, and then the second book into that series is Matrimonium. Wow. And Matrimonium quite a is lot of about... Books. Yeah. Well, Matrimonium is about Alison Templeton Miller again when she marries. She goes into a, the midlife, as we call it, uh, where she marries and has children. And then we finish off oh with my God. the final one. Wow. The Cessors. And the wow. Cessors, yes. And the Cessors is Latin for death. Wow. So that's Alison's. So that's Alison's latter years, 
Um, and that wow. finishes the trilogy. That is a trilogy. Stella wow. Nebula, Matrimonium, and this is, is definitely um, the trilogy, which ends it. And then in February, hopefully February, um, there should be Victorium coming out, which is wow. the Sebastian Dupont story, which is the Temple to Miller series wow. again. I really need to commend your works. It, it's quite a lot to craft all these long words and all those books. It's a lot of work. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> it's really a lot of work to see and write all these big books, you know. I always commend yeah. authors' works, and it's very important. That's one of the reasons why I love spotlighting in the authors, because we are putting in quite a lot of works. Spotlighting yes. authors, rather, because I know everybody's not yes. indie. Because we are putting in quite a lot of works. It's it's yes. really a lot of work. Well done. Yes, yes. And like I said, we've got another Lily book coming out for Christmas. Wow. Uh, there will be a Lily book coming out next Easter. I've got a Victorium coming out for the Temple to Miller dynasty. Oh, my and, goodness. <laughs> yeah, and then I've got um, plans in on a couple more Lily books. And then we're going into the Lily College years. Wow. Um, and then... The Temple to Miller, um, we got the Emile story. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Benedict story, and then that will finish that series. And then we're going into um, the criminology side of a detective books wow. uh, for the adults. That's yes. really amazing. That's really amazing. And I love to link in the discussion part of this interview where interested viewers can get a copy of A.K. Kappa Elliott's books directly on Amazon and on other media platform. So thank you so much, A.K., yes. for accepting the invitation to be featured on P. English Literature. It's a pleasure having this conversation with you. Yes. Yes. Uh, same here. I've enjoyed it. I have I have stumbled a little bit this morning, um, but that that is the condition I suffer with. Uh, I but apart from that, I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for inviting me. You're welcome. It's my pleasure as well, and I do love it too.